So let's get back to mid. Off we go. Bish bash bosh. And main mission time. We, let's fa to be fair, we've been friend zoned by her since the beginning of the game. She has never shown us any interest. And I'm just heartbroken, really. And I'm in denial. I'm absolutely in denial. I'm living in delusion. I should be loving Jill more than Taya, but I just can't seem to... <sighs> ship. We're back at the ship. Okay, meanwhile... Everyone's looking very stressed. Pacing, 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 pacing. Byron? I we right, Clive. My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The Ine is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. <laughs> Nova. Five. The relation no of Barnabas Tharm. Ship. Only what the bards sing. I've never seen brothers with such contrasting he hair colour. sailed to Ash from southern lands. I'm very sus. That it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. Unless... But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. He just loves dying we'll do it. what we must to survive. He just bleaches we every must. week. The yes! I thought this cool was meant to be yes. hidden. My, one of my favorite people ever is in the chat. Please follow her. I love her. Mid! Company! Hey? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready. Get ready to set sail, baby. Oh, Pull up the oh, anchor. Come on, Toggle. What's Toggle doing? What is Toggle doing right now that helps a ship? Toggle's like, yep, I'll get the mast. Ooh, fighting. Everyone with me? Emotional support. Emotional support, dog. When I was younger, I had beach. Oh, did you really? So there is a thing. Here they come! Different Jess. Jess. Jess, Jess. Right, the Akashic soldiers are here. Seems they have a death wish. Okay. Everyone ready? I think it's time for... You know what it's time for? Okay, guys, can I upgrade stuff in the middle? Can I upgrade mid-fight? Please tell me I can. <gasps> Master the tornado, please. No! I'm ready to up. But I've got enough points. I've got enough points. Okay, we'll do limit break and aerial blast afterwards. Okay, afterwards. Remind me. I'll have you know, Earth breaks here. I'm struck fear into the heart of every man in the queen. Everyone's getting caught up in it. <laughs> Why is it so funny? It's so funny. About that offer, Cam? How are we doing, Mitch? I thought you said that ship was fast. Oh, no. Quick, we need to do a new a new tornado. Do it! Come on then! Which of you I thought it was called Heartbreaker. Don't let the 
wasted it. Limit break. You trying to you trying to ban someone in my chat, Jess? What have they done to you, eh? Limit break. My bad. Aaron, thank you for the follow, Aaron. Oh, Aaron, that was your fault. 100%. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Staggered. Tornado on one man. Ah! I don't know why it's so funny. Backing off. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I'm trying to think. If I just do this. Oh my god. Relax. What's your issue? Okay, would you? My favorite one. Still not dead? Okay. Staggered? Thank God. Darpas, have you ever just woken up and thought, maybe, maybe today I don't get timed out in Anna's chat? Is that ever a thought that's crossed your mind instead? And if you're not in the US, Canada, you can dream of the candles, I know. Uh, Jess, I have one, oh, I've got two behind me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six candles of yours and one of them is almost finished. And I'm scared to run out because I don't want to ever run out of the candles. The range in the accents is so wild, I know. Aaron, that was definitely on you, 100%. 100%. Hi, Pop, GG, thank you, welcome, how are you doing? Uh, Darpas is a great guy. He may be forgetful at times, but it's not his fault. He has a good soul. Why, Darpas? What have you done? Give me the backstory. Why are you forgetful? Thanks, Byron. You did so much for me there. I'm not sarcastic at all. That was easy enough. It was. All right, you lousy lot. Get your asses on board. She's ready to sail. All aboard. You heard the captain. <laughs> Everybody on. Clive. Oh no. How are you not dead? I killed you with my bare eyes. But I thought he was... Confounded. Then it is as I feared. Hans. Sleipnir is no man, but a creation of Odin. Oh, hell no. No, I'm not dealing with doppelgangers now. How many of you is there? Ten of them? Phoenix's fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? Up for another round? Go on, sweet. Gallagher07, my wonderful mod coming through with the raid. Did you have a good stream? I bloody love you. Thank you so much. What were you playing today? Thank you so much. You are really addicted to DCS world, aren't you? Thank you so much for the raid. Guys, welcome. Gal is uh, an amazing mod for me and has done so much for me in general. And he's like a brother. He's fabulous. Follow him. He plays all sorts of stuff at random times. Sometimes on Australian time zones. Sometimes on the UK time zones because he's sometimes here. Hi, Elni. Welcome in. Shit, someone won't get hurt. Right, let's hope it's them. Byron, the uncle none of us knew we needed. I do love Byron. Okay, you ready to kick some booty? Let's kick some ass. I've got to do this in 15 minutes because I've got to I've got to go in 15 minutes. So let, fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed. Hey, Trekkie. Get, get the tornadoes ready. Thank you so much, Gal, for picking me to raid. 
I love you, man. I'll see you soon as well. Um, not not too long till I see you again. Uh, Thank you, gal. Lord Rushfield. My Welcome, boy, everybody. There was a time people call me the executioner. Or was it my own voice? No matter, heads will roll all the same. Ours will roll as part. well. You leave. We follow. Follow. You gonna get a car tomorrow? Oh, oh, that's perfect. Weigh anchor. Yay! I can give you the GPU. Engine dead slow ahead. Okay, the ship is powering up. We love to see it. I've got to kill ten doppelgangers at once. It is not blood that runs through in every space. These foes will not fall. But they will fall. Like oaks before a woodman's axe. Good thing I brought one! Oh my gosh, I just wasted that. Wasted it. Limit break! As long as it takes. Unless you have a better Well, I've already killed at least five of the bastards. Fuck it. Let's do the lot. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, if I do this... There's one of them. Are they just gonna keep... I think they're still- they're just gonna keep doing it. Oh, we alright, right, right, right. Tornado. Oh, alright, gal, thank you for the lurk. Have a good time with Tomski. Oh, that's nice, it's coming round. Should we make for the ship? Not yet. Wait for my signal. They're just gonna keep coming. They just keep re respawning. God. Everyone bored? Bulvy, hello! Holy cow milkshake, thank you for the follow. Great name. Nice one, Byron. He definitely did rugby. Definitely, definitely. Was a rugby player. That light. <laughs> Skill roll. Very nimble. One-handed, in armor. Incredible. Hello, Paul. <laughs> it's a Swifty party after Taylor's concert. <laughs> that is so funny. No, mate. Yeet. Right, no, 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 no. Let me get on first. Oh, on That'll be enough to make him fall off the back. Okay, well, we escaped at least. Oh, look at that. Isn't that so pretty? The Noldian Arrow. Oh, we're at sea. This is the bad boat. Evil boat. I thought I was about to watch something a bit different. Okay, so Jill is at least a prisoner and she's not dead, thank God. What do you want? <sighs> That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. <sighs> you are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. Offering. Offering. 
<laughs> Jess. Jess, how are you today? I love you. Do -do 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 -do. Now back to your stations! Every bell spent treading water puts another league between us and the galleon. Gosh, she's a tough boss. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine. <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. Ah. You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Randala can provide them. We're getting an army together. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. Can't wait. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Good point. Again. Again. Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Ah, Joshua is so nephews. cute. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. <laughs> Been drinking again. Bye, Darpas. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Sending you love. Have a good week. Even though I'll see you tomorrow, probably. <laughs> Cheerio! Bye. Oh, yeah. Do keep up, my boy. Well, you can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. It's nice that we have their relationship back. I didn't know what was going to happen from the beginning onwards. Dion? No. Yes? Oh my god, it is. What you doing, buddy? What you doing out of bed? Is he looking for his boyfriend? Yeah, he's had to, he's had to take, it, take it, acknowledge what he's done when he was not of sound mind. What have I done? The medicine girl, my lord. She's the main protagonist, I swear, of this game. Time check. Yes, thank you, Raj. I'm waiting to save. And Liz, thank you for gifting a sub to Pratik. Pratik, welcome in. Thank you, Liz, for the gift. Thank you so much. Medicine Girl is the goat. The water is looking stunning. Am I right? This is still 30 frames, not 60 frames. There's a lot of sea between here and Walud, but any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Right. Maintain our current bearing north-northeast and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. 
What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it'd take him forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Thirty. Smooth Bid thirty, knows yeah. what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells... Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Uh-oh. Sophia vibes. Do you feel that? Jill. All hands! Battle stations! Let's see what this girl can do. Are we crashing? Or are we cannoning? We're going straight... in? Are we catapulting? Oh my god, look at him on his own podium. Did you build yourself a podium? Where one leads, so does the other follow. The bond of consciousness which joins them condemning both to the same fate. Yet my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. Disaster. Who is he talking to? His, his huge audience in his mind. If he keeps doing that, though, we can't just, like, long swerve each time. Oh, my God, he's levitating. Is there anything he, he doesn't do? Oh, oh, oh. us. This is scary. Joshua, get back. No, 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 no. We, uh, Phoenix mode initiated. the maelstrom. Time to kick some booty, I think. Where did you hide, Hyponymous? Cut him down! Stay down! Whoa, alright. Tornado. Okay, you, you both enjoy that whilst I just go somewhere else. Thank you. Can I go through here now? Bar and everything. Oh, 
dodged that, didn't I? Embarrassing. Oh, hold on. break. I dodged into it. I dodged into it? Staggered. Take that. Literal asshole. Okay. Toggle. Attack. Come on, boy. Second toggle. Taron, thank you for the bits. Hold on, let me let me read your message. Oh. I'm not dealing with that. Not dealing with that. Okay, I think I parried him. Sorry, what did you say, my lovely Taryn? Remember you are adored by your community, your inspiration for the day. Now you must get back to the grind. Do not make me cry today. I've had an emotional morning. Taryn, thank you so much. That's such a lovely thing to say. You've no idea how much it means to me. For real. Thank you so much. Thank you, Taryn. Uh, Zoldan Prime, hello. Ivy, hello. Did I mention I was playing this game? on FF16, Fort Benedict yesterday, honestly not as difficult. Not as difficult as, as regular mode. Really? Andy, thank you for nine months, we have a baby, don't make it weird. What do you want to call the baby? Andy Jr? His wounds boy. Digger, thank you for Prime! Digger, thank you so much. Enjoy the emotes again. We've got a new one coming. We've got a waving emote coming. Courtesy of Raj. He made it for us. Okay, I'm gonna open this door and hopefully we'll get Jill. We need a torch. We need a we need a flashlight. Drop the fight at last. Ooh, box. You are, going to die. are you alright? He's broken his arm. Nothing I can do for you, sir, unfortunately. I need to hurry. Archaic! Hey! We raided you as well, right? Hello! I'm getting better at, rem at remembering names. How are you doing? Welcome in. Marty, thank you for a thousand bits, Marty. Marty, that's so many. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. How are you doing? Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, here we are. Where's Barnabas now? <gasps> Is mid gonna die? No, I'm not gonna have that. You don't want to plant them in. Yeah, maybe it'd be boring. <laughs> Who's curing them? Hang on, who's curing them? You are. You're curing. Stop doing that. Okay, they are no longer getting cured. Limit break? One of my favorite finishing moves. It's my favorite finishing move. That slap, the stomp on the ground. Where are the new enemies? Oh, 
okay. Oh my gosh, he's a big boy. Didn't see him. Didn't see him. Woo! Okay. My wounds, boy. To me, boy. I've heard toggle. <gasps> Did you see that? Curing them again. Can we get rid of him. Whoa. Close. Bloody hell. The power of the tornado. Palestine, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Melissa, thank you for the follow too. And Dan's, thank you for 22 months. That's almost two years, man. Thank you so much. How are you? Thank you, thank you. Also, Archaic, what did you... Have you played this before? I meant to talk to you properly, sorry. I was in the middle of combat. Archaic, have you played this at all? Oh, there's some loot up there. Let me grab it. I have no idea what's going on anymore at this point, I'm afraid to ask. <laughs> I think it is quite hard to follow, isn't it? I think it is quite hard to follow. I've been really trying. Can I open this door? The basement. Is Jill going to be down here? Or have I already... No, I already came from down there. Okay. I already came from there. I think the door is actually somewhere up here. <laughs> Devil, thank you for the follow. I'm not sure I've heard someone say bloody hell outside of Ron Weasley. <laughs> bloody hell, Harry. Door, door, door. Hatch? Jill! Where are you? This one? Jill! It's me! Please, Clive! It rhymes with chive. Remember? What the hell are you? Me? I'm, a, I'm just a person with slight iconic tendencies. My leg. I can feel my leg. Sorry guys, I got um I got a, a necklace. Let me just see what it says. Reduces Earth and Fury cooldown by 13.5 seconds. No, I like my loadout. I like my loadout. I do. I'm happy with it. And I'm so sorry. Oh, we've got a Phoenix emote now, do we? Liz, thank you for gifting a sub to Archaic. Oh my god. That is so sweet. We raided Archaic when we were playing It Takes Two, correct? And uh, it was the cutest thing I've ever seen. Mad, thank you for the follow. You've got a button to ask Toggle where to go. I know, I don't want to have to rely on the dog. I want to find it myself. Uh, loot, 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 loot. Are you alright? Get up! Enough of this! The king can 
Oh, no. Passed out. Hung over as hell. Fully hung over. Okay, we're going through this way. That's one way. Oh! Alright! That's one way of doing Done that, done that, done that, done that. What is this stool for? Hi, Mr. Leah. Having a good day? Have you had breakfast? You made my and my wife's night, thank you. Oh, it was so nice to see a real couple playing It Takes Two. It was so sweet. What is this chair for? Who's going to sit on that? You can't even reach the ceiling. Oh, oh I knocked it over. Oh, uh, it's back up, it's back up, it's back up. Like, if this is a, a stool that's used to, like, change a light bulb, let me try and get on it. Oh my god. Clive. Clive, why is this so hard? No! Anyway. Jill. Jill Jill's like. Get back. Back it up, Jill. I'll explain later. Hat. They do love each other, don't they? Oh, there was a table before can you, you smashed it. Out of here, I can. Oh, it was a table and a stool. Got you, got you. Yes, I did. Mechanics, mechanics. Yes, I did. Let me do it now. I need to upgrade the tornado. Stand still. Phoenix. Are you not the dominant of fire? I see naught before me but a guttering flame. <laughs> Is this now? We're doing this now? Oh God, it's a floating horse. He's flying. In the honest then. So that, that thing, when he does that beam, it's like it, you can't stop it. He just split the sea in half. What? What in the Moses? I don't under- I'm so confused, like, gravity and logistics are confusing me. Are we under the sea right now? Under the sea. Odin has cheats enabled? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, they're just fine, are they? Unscathed? Just fell through the ocean, they're fine? Hey, Cobra. Can you go on? I think so. She's okay, she's okay. <sighs> but to where? Is that gonna fall down on us? Plot armor. Someone call Moses. 
Oh no, what's this? Why? Hey bro, you wanted to do this fight underneath the, uh, the Atlantic? Why? We could do it anywhere else. You... What did you do to Joshua? Oh yeah! The Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. I don't want Jill to hurt herself because whenever she fights, the will soon be painted in black. She's not as strong as she was. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the mother crystals and restore balance to the world. Come, do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. What's with the slow walk? Can we not? Your efforts will avail us naught. Toggle is naught, ready is, to rip his throat out. Suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Good line. Good line. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. I can fix him. I don't think we can. I don't think we can, guys. I don't think we can. Night mode activated. Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Okay. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no. Trust me, Jill. What are we trusting, though? What are we trusting? That he's going to be able to just kill him with a, a sword and... I don't have that armor. I don't have a helmet. I don't even have a helmet on. No. Jesus Christ. We don't have to do this. Oh, but we do. If only to remind you of your duty. Limit break. Parried him, let's go. Okay. In the short time since our last meeting, you have grown much. It has a vessel. I fear my lord will still find you lacking. All this fire and fury, and for what? Stopping the blight. A foolish notion fed to you. Why do boss man. fights feel the need to fight and talk How at the same time? Do they not have better things to do? This world or of our place in it. If our fates were so easily rewritten, we would all be gods. Shall I tornado him? He's got go XLR voice change. Okay, tornado on Barnabas. Oh, 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 oh! Hang on! Don't do that! I can't see him. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. Guys, it was a mistake to do the tornado. I can't see. I can't see anything. I can't see. I can't see. It was a mistake. <laughs> We need to kill him before he does it. We need to kill him before he does the attack. Help! He's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. I'm dead. Can I limit break this? 
when is the, when is the tornado not a mistake? Oh no, he's gonna kill me. He's doing his attack. Thus is the light of hope he's doing it. Oh shit! I'm dead. I'm dead. You would yield so soon. Surely I'm dead. Never. I just had my throat slit. Life. Jill, I didn't press attack in time. It's my fault, Jill. I pressed tornado. It's the tornado's issue. Do you not see? Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? Hang on, this is scripted. The breath of the creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. It was meant to happen. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that. You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his power. And yet, every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us. It unmakes us. That its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. He's gotten super religious. The icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Why is he trying to kill me if he wants me to make a decision that means that I'm a, I would need Apart to be alive? Apart from you, Muthos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying is that we dominance are a means to an end. Okay. We were created for you, that you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is... Leechy, hi. Hello. To feed. Leechy. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard? But he's a laugh at a party. <laughs> as long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. I don't want to penetrate Still, your defense. Well, I do. I take solace in the don't fact make it weird. that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind. But there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord, in his mercy, has taken pity on his flawed creations. And shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God. Has he always been like this? No. Has he always been super... Religious, or is this, is this like Ultima's Manners, doing? Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Flashback. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. Oh, For hell no. too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. No, thank you. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? That would make everyone an army. And abandon everything we hold dear. We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves. And we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours. And not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. No, I don't think so at all. But perhaps... The opposite of that. That fact may be put to use. That's <sighs> thanks. <laughs> Clive! Oh my god, I knew this would happen. The this is literally from the Prince of Egypt. To the remaining dominance. They have taken this directly out of the, the Prince of Egypt. Your hunger will become. 
until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. He's always been like that, he's just been a bit quiet. Okay. Oh my god. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. She's gonna try and freeze Probably the ocean? Not, but I can try. Jill, Jill, Jill. <sighs> The thing is, we can't fly, so how are we getting up? Once we've frozen it. Okay, okay, we froze. Oh my Don't look God. back! Okay, I need to ask you. A yes or no question in the chat. Could I have defeated Barnabas in that moment and had a different cutscene? <laughs> no. So I always lose. So you, you, there's no way of defeating his attack when he does that. Basically, his the bar is too big to like uh, whittle it down to that to that move. Okay, interesting. It's scripted to lose. Get good. <laughs> Uranus. I know I need to. Welcome in for the first time. Hi, Zythron. You can't win. Okay, thank you. I assume the bar doesn't go down. Okay, okay. He kicks your ass twice. Oh, no. He did. He really did. Even if you got him down to nothing, he would still do it. Okay. Okay. Oh, he let... What did I get? Increases impulse will damage by 10%. What's impulse will? Oh, it's, a, it's one of the light moves. Oh yeah, I haven't been, I need to switch them out. Let's, I know you love the tornado. Let's go back to, I've been also missing the thunder. I've actually been missing the thunder. As well. Giga flare. Practice makes perfect, but Nobody's perfect, so why practice? I hope the others are safe. More training, the Charles. Clear of the gap when we fell. Oh God, they made it, Jill. Why is he naked? They would have seen the ice. We're led. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What is happening? What is happening? Have I missed something? I need to just. I'm sorry. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, are our clothes, <laughs> sorry, are our clothes so damp from being trapped under the ocean that we had to take them off and sit by the fire? <laughs> Is that what's happening? To avoid hypothermia. <laughs> Come pet, that's what's happening. <laughs> the fact that, you oh, I love that you know what that is. Oh my God, that's funny. Okay. Wet clothes, and so out of respect for one another, they are sitting back to back so that you don't have they don't have to stare at each other nudie. Okay, they're having a moment, but they can only do. <laughs> He's worn that outfit for fifteen years, but it got a bit damp, so he's taken off. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry, I just wanted to understand if I was missing something here, that they are just drying their clothes off. Okay. We need only wait till dawn. Toggle's like, don't know where to look, mate. Why is this necessary? The side boob. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. <laughs> and maybe there really is nothing else for it but oh to my God. give yourself to his master. <laughs> Toggle is naked too. True. True. <laughs> True. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. Bested him twice. So you believe? But do you really know me? Been friends for literally years. Yes, they. If yes, she probably does. If was true, then I'm more monster than man. I'm looking respectfully. Each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Is that how he feels? Do you though? Yeah. Think of what you've used that power for. Of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted. 
only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? Uncle Remus, that has cracked me up. I agree. I've also used it to kill. Also, the, the nakedness gives a vulnerability to their conversation. That's my purpose. Which is, like, I'm guessing, why they chose to do that as well. It's all I'm good for. Just next to the ass. Thank you for that, Final Fantasy. <laughs> Boobs against the back. You're still that same boy I grew Let's up Let's not pretend with. like that's not happening. Always so eager to save everyone around you. And yet always so alone. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. Himself? You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. <laughs> Taya looking from afar. <laughs> Taya's looking out the window like... Myself. I think I might be beyond saving. Oh my god. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. And I know you're not about to change. <laughs> Where's that hat? <laughs> so I'm going to help you. Okay, what, what are you going to do? To give you what you need to protect us all. She going to give me ice? She going to give me the power of ice? Oh no, we're facing each other now. Full nudes. Full Chill. frontal. Full frontal. We've seen everything now. Are you sure? My girl doesn't hold me like that. <laughs> Ross. Welcome in, Ross. If, if this is what you want, then... I can't believe this they do burden. all of this conversation naked. I'll give you the strength to bear it alone. But I'm not alone. These burdens I carry, my sins, my pain, my sorrow, I see now that they are all a part of me. This is the best analogy for sex I've ever seen. I saw someone say. Hi, Sora. This is like when they have sex in Avatar, you know, and it's like, absolutely that's what's happening, but it's not what we see. Wow. This is where babies come from. This is where babies come from. Clive. If they don't kiss now, it'd be wild. Because they've just done something more intimate than kissing. I promise you, Jill. We will find a way to escape this fate. Find a way to save each other. Oh, the hand! The hand! That we might one day look upon the moon again. Okay. Together. Fan fiction? Peach, hello Peach. Have they already watched Netflix? Is this just the chill part? You're right, Debbie. And I promise you, Clive. 
Oh, this is actually really sad. That I will be there. No matter what you must become. I know. I never thought a smile could bring me so much joy. That's a really nice thing to say. Please! Please! Thank God! Thank God! Thank God. What a beautiful thing to say before kissing somebody. That is the loveliest thing ever. It would have been shocking if they didn't do that. It happened. We got it, finally. I'm not thinking about Taya at all. Anyway. His outfit has dried off. Took them long enough. Tire who? Where was Gav when they needed him? So much has happened in the last 20 minutes. So they're official now. I guess that would make them official. That's his girlfriend. Oh, they're so cute together, to be fair. Fire and ice, you know? Fire and ice. I never thought a smile could bring me so much joy. What a lovely sentence. That's my favorite line in the whole thing. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Jonesy, hello. Miss Besides, you. Besides, how are you? There is something we must do first. We've got loads to do. We've got a crystal, we've got Barnabas. Not just something. Of course. Drake's spine. Yes. The last mother crystal. Thank you for the exposition sentence, Jill. We knew it was the last the mother crystal. is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. Oh. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. How do they get the boat back? And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Yes, we've also got two side missions from my character that I voice Ash in this game. We'll have to wait. Before we do the Mother Crystal. How are you, Toggle? How did you find witnessing what happened last night? How did you find watching that? Any thoughts? <laughs> are you traumatized? Toggle saw everything. Toggle saw everything. What does that say? Become one? Okay, that, what, just consummating the relationship? Is that what you're saying? I got a bronze trophy for having sex. Okay. Become one. Please. Please, PlayStation. PlayStation, please. Okay. You, okay, you're showing me this, yes? Where, where do you want me to go? Oh, back to the hideaway? Wow. One. Five. Five side missions. Five side missions, one main mission. It could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. I got a little jealous. What do you think Torgal got jealous? Only a bronze? Give me a platinum trophy for that. Come on. Platinum, where are you? Where are you at? Says Odin split the sea in two. Yes. She's always been partial to a tall tale. No, it wasn't a story. Well, there's tall, and then there's tall. She, he literally did I that. I struggle to believe it myself. He, he did that. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Mm -hmm. Ultima's plague is spreading. Ether flood. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up the hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. 
Every little helps, I suppose. Tesco. Let's hope so. Every little helps. Across the narrow. When we should, oh, sorry, we should go check the reading table in Clive's room when we can. So I, have I got, oh, oh my God, so much has happened. So much has happened. Guess there's more than one way to go out with a bang. <laughs> Literally. Uh, Crate, did you just say you've, you missed the, the last 30 minutes of stream? I'd say the most um, intimate and dramatic 30 minutes of the entire game was just then. Run to the VOD, Crate. Sex was had. Well, was it though? I guess in a way it wasn't technically sex. They just kissed. But also shared. Anyway. Jill has given us the power of ice. Because she's very weak. When she uses it, she's putting herself in danger. Clive is just jacked. So we can take all the powers. We've got now everything. We've got everything. She gave it to us. I put my hand on her chest. Not like that. I put it gently above towards the heart not there hand power transference very respectful <laughs> unusual player i know give me a silver trophy for that honestly and now i think we can do one of my side missions of my character which is cool i think according to raj sex was implied heavily implied running to the VOD crate. Enjoyed that sexual experience. And please do report back and tell me what you think. <laughs> Ross. <laughs> Intimacy was had. There we go. I don't know how, how I don't know how to feel about this scene. So Ultima use, uses Barnabas to make Jill give her power to Clive willingly by showing her that Clive is so weak. I don't know if I interpret it as seeing that Clive is so weak. But I know what you mean, Growl. It's like he... That happening... Almost was instigated by Barnabas's. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's a weird one. Hello, Trolldemort, by the way. Lovely to see you. Okay, scrolling back, scrolling back. Carthy. Naked kissing followed by a fade to black. I think that's what happened. <laughs> what, what happened is implied well enough. Very much. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So we've got the power of ice. Thing is, Jill's given me that now. And I feel like if I don't equip it, or if I don't permanently use it... It feels like awful because she has given her power to me now. Imagine if I just didn't equip it and she gave it to me. She sacrifices it, hands it to me, and there's me using Tornado instead. Shiva's iconic feet, cold snap, can be used to swiftly move left, right, forward or back. Look at me. Chest moves. Oh, a little cloak. Do I have to press a specific button for that or is it just... Mm, okay. I should visit Joshua. Assuming Tai will allow it. Okay. She can still use her powers after sharing them. Okay, so she's just shared it. And it hasn't weakened her to give her to give me some of the power? Is it split or is it just copy pasted? Has she copy-pasted? Oh, did you, MRM? Okay. It's weakened her slightly? Okay. Alright. Oh, wrong thing. Sorry. Gear. Remove. Ice. Icy, icy. Shiva channeled. We've still got one more to unlock. What could it be? Odin's power maybe once we kill Barnabas? Because I swear to God, if I don't kill him. Okay, okay, okay. Where's the limit break thingy again? Upgrading limit break again. Didn't you say it was somewhere? Limit break, okay. I can also buy these too. Summon a storm of fireballs that circle around Clive. Oh, that's like an ability that you can upgrade or not. Okay, let me upgrade it once more. 2,000. I've mastered it now. Fully mastered limit break. And then let's upgrade one of the ice if we're going to use it. Copy paste and not cut and paste. Nice. See? Control V. <laughs> paste without formatting. 
Hi, Andrew. Hi, Genedix as well. Genoxidus. Press triangle over the abilities. You can use master ability for a different icon. Have Shiva on and still have tornado. Really? Details. You can you can copy you can pick and choose different ones. How do you mean? Spoiler: the last one is the ultimate icon, the fat chocobo. Imagine you just suddenly get given a fat chocobo at the end of FF16. Now you can say limit break more often. When you master an ability, you can equip it to any icon. Oh my god. So I can master Tornado right now with 4,000. Cafe, thank you for the raid. Oh, that's so cute. Look at the little coffee emoji. Thank you so much. Welcome in. Hi, guys. It's my first playthrough of FF16. We have got a few chapters left. I voice a few characters in this game. So it's been really nice to experience it after four years of waiting for it to come out, having worked on it such a long time ago, uh, on and off for about four years. So um, yeah, we get to do a couple of my side missions today, I think as well, which is really nice because I have a voice a character called Doris. Thank you so much for the raid, Demetria. Also, you got, oh my gosh, similar name to me. Are you Greek in, a, in any way? Um, sorry, I was gonna say one more thing. How are the mechanics of 16 compared to 15? I've actually never played 15 Archaic. I've played 7 Remake and then this one. That's my only experience with Final Fantasy. But I have played all of Kingdom Hearts. I love Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Vish, hello Vish. <laughs> Benedicta needed to calibrate afterwards but she still managed to summon Garuda. Okay so, you, okay, so I haven't taken her powers completely from her. That's good. Four thousand means I can master the tornado. I'm gonna do it. So I lock it. Correct? Is this how this works? Feel free to talk me through it. I don't really understand how that works. So I've locked it now and then I can switch to ice. Cafe, thank you for paying forward your gift sub to your friend. Thank you so much. Did you come through from the raid, I'm guessing? Thank you so much, Cafe. That is so kind. Lock it so you just don't so you just don't refund it. Okay. Now you go back to the gear screen and equip it on any icon. Oh, I see. Remove ability. Oh my god, there it is. So I've got ice. Okay, you know what? No, no, no. I actually, there's some, I would rather put it on. Oh gosh, this is, this is tough now. This is my favorite move, hands down. Wind up is my favorite. This one I don't even really care about, to be honest. So I could switch that out if the other one is better. Oh, it's so exciting. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry. I'm getting excited. Wind up. Can we upgrade it? Yes. Can I upgrade it again? Yes! Oh, how exciting. Okay, so I've got that fully, fully mastered. And then I'll switch, remove that, and I'll put, I'll put the aerial blast on there instead. And then this one, put the other icy one back. Oh, 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 oh. This one. And just see if I like it first. Tornado will never die. It will never die. Yes, you can reset them, Yanks, as well. Yeah, you can change your mind and take things off and put them back again. It's quite, it's, it's a really good system, all of the abilities and the combat in this, I think. Different meaning to having wind. Very different meaning. <laughs> Slightly different. Slightly different. Hi, Stunner. Okay. No cost to resetting. Yeah, it's good. Bye, Snakes. I will see you soon. Thank you for hanging out with us. Okay, well, I'll enjoy Ice, see if I like it. And then uh, before we get to like some big boss fights at the end, we can figure out our favorite stuff. These are both mastered. Mastered, mastered. We've got four, four out of six are mastered. I think that's pretty good. 
It's exciting. Okay, we have an important side mission here. Let's go talk to... Oh, and another one. Blacksmith Blues. And then a letter from the reading table. Am, am I the letter from the reading table? My character? Raj? Okay, don't tell me, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Let me go talk to him. Having wind versus passing wind. Heard the bad news then, did you? Oh, what now, August? What bad news? What? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old horn. Yeah? With the forge and all that. What about him? Well, anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like no one's business. And the village? Since when? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. Akashic. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help, and quick. Okay. Doris sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Doris? Who's that? Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon, the old place will be overrun. Okay. I, I won't let that happen. Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. You reckon we should tell him? What do you think he would do? No. It's better this way. Yeah, well... I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so mm -hmm. I'm off. I'll see you in Dravosht. See you there, baby. Okay, so that is... That's begun. Ooh. And then the reading table is back down here and through. Covered in nicks and lumps, the lot of them. It's a wonder they can still walk. What's covered in lumps? Have to head out for a bit. Come have a great rest of your stream. If I don't make it back before you're done, have a fantastic day chat. MRM, have a lovely day. I hope whatever you're doing goes well. I will see you next time. Oh, don't tell me we've run out of pep here. Ah, it's a dangerous world out there. I'm going to sell some stuff and also uh, get some more potions. I need three of them. It'd better all be here. Yes, honey. And... I don't want... This is 10... Th I've got so much money. and I mean, not to flaunt it, but look at how much... I have... You can't see because my camera is in front of it, but I have... I have 159,000 gil. I'm just saying. Drinks are on me, guys. In fact... Is that all? In fact, let's buy everybody a round. Welcome back, Sid. Buy a round for the whole hall. As if setting our people free wasn't enough. You're welcome. Good news, everyone. The casks have been liberated. Here's to Sid. You're welcome, guys. Enjoy. <laughs> 10,000 kill. There's not too much to spend it oh, on, yeah. You're not leaving already, are you? I mean, I can stay if you want. How are you? You look like you could do with a drink. How am I getting on? Ah, oh, about as well as you'd expect of a barmaid pouring sour ale for penniless outlaws in the middle of the Deadlands. Oh. And it'd be worse than that if Molly here didn't make the best stew this side of stone here. Even if it is mostly just yesterday's leavings. Don't tell her you heard that from me, though. Mum's the word. Oh, keep your mug handy. Why is there a naked man at the bar? What do you recommend? A shirt. This is a tavern, not a brothel. <laughs> the sound is foul. I know, Peach, it's such a cursed sound. <laughs> what do you recommend? She says, a shirt. This is a tavern, not a brothel. It's true. Oh my god, yes, Cotillon. Those are the bread rolls from the side mission. Those are the rolls that are made to look like Drake's fan. Fang. Fan? Look at that bread. Do you like it? Sid! Look what the curse breakers brought back from Dalmechia! The buns! Said they were all the rage in Dalamil. Looks sort of funny if you ask me. I think they look great. <laughs> I'll be damned. Have you had one before? Something smells good. What are we having? Buns. 
Do you want a bun? Buns! And they are good. You should try one. He just looked like he was throwing up. Huh? Oh. Hey, the bloody great hole in it. Who are the rest? No, it's part of the design. <laughs> the design. It's supposed to be hollow, silly. Haven't you ever seen Drake's Fang? It's a Drake, Drake's Fang, Fang bun. Drake's Fang bun. Obviously, Otto. Get with the times, man. It's a modern thing. He's still naked, that guy. Look at him. It's not even that warm outside. There's a hole in my buns. Oh, don't tell me we've run out of happy or nuts and all. Um, let me just see if he can upgrade my oh. weapon. What do you For want? any reason. <gasps> yes, we can. We have a better sword. 300. It's an ice brand sword. Make it for me, please. Yes, please. It should last you a good while. Um, could you possibly also upgrade that for me? Sorry, wrong button. No. So it is just... It is what it is. Anything else? Oh, look at my new sword. It's like a shard of ice. Say that five times fast. I can't. I'm terrible with tongue twisters, funnily enough. Uh, okay, reading table. Oscar, how you been? My Lord Marquis, I... I heard about Eastpool. This is the guy that wants to be my protege, right? Some of my right? fellow guardians are to build a new home there. It looks good, Dapas, isn't it? for themselves and for Madame Martha's bearers. Cool sword. Is it true? It's true. The village is to be rebuilt. I have many fond memories of Eastpool. When I was a child, we would visit my aunt and uncle often. They would lavish attention upon me as if I were the son they never had. So he just likes attention. I went to see Aunt Hannah after my uncle passed away, but... Not nearly as often as I should have. Oscar. I'd like you to assist Sir Wade in the rebuilding efforts. But... But, my lord... Uh, my training is not yet complete. I You've couldn't got possibly. This. You've got this. I warned you I might not be the easiest of masters. But I'm not as hard-hearted as that. Go. Be with your aunt. Chat also likes Rebuild attention. Rebuild her home. I would never have guessed. You guys like it's attention what you too? Wanted. Yes, my lord. Thank you, my lord. Also... The the ever the ever evolving filters on my mic sorry on my mic on my camera to try and make myself both not look orange but also not look pale are not working today. I'm gonna to take the saturation down slightly because I look a bit too orange. There we go, a bit better. There we go. Okay. Let me just check my memory table, because we got a new memory, I think. No no we didn't, we didn't, we didn't. I'm talking nonsense. Shield, saddle. Chalice, apples. Yep. We're fine. Okay, checking the letters. Oh my god, this is one of my side missions. Wait! It is, isn't it? Thank you, Charles. You're very sweet. Is the stream buffering for anyone else? I don't seem to have stream issues my end. You might have to refresh. I think you very look you look very human in colour today. That's good. Okay, that's good. Captain Doris. Sir, I and the other curse breakers have grown concerned regarding the well being of our captain. I cannot believe I'm their captain. Out of all the characters that they've given me in this game, I'm a captain? Very proud. I feel very proud. Despite the apparent unrest, her recent investigations have visited upon her. Lady Doris. Lady Do I'm a lady and a captain. Lady Doris refuses all offers of assistance. That sounds like me, to be honest. <laughs> Someone's like, can I help you with this? I'm like, no, I'm fine, I've got it. Um, if it's not too much trouble, I would ask that you please speak with the captain and learn what troubles her so deeply. Yes. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least. Oh, captain, my captain. 
unrequited love for Taya. I'll be like, yeah, what's the matter? And I'll be like, I know exactly what's wrong. Should we do those now? The stew's awfully thin these days. Oh, don't tell me we've run out of papio nuts and all. all. Farmers are about the stew is awfully thin. Imagine, imagine, like, surviving through so many different, like, ambushes and wars and then complaining that the stew is thin. That's your concern, madam? Eat the stew. Be grateful. Um, right, where is Doris? Oh, that's the other one. Oh yeah, I need to give that back to. Okay, sorry. There's so much. There's so much going on. Let me. Let me. Ah! I've got one more thing to trigger. So we've got all the side missions going. Before we wrap it all up. This last one up here. Have you tried Molly's lemon tarts? I've never had anything so delicious. Anyone else tried one of Molly's lemon tarts? I've heard they're great. The only one who's not complaining is Jill. Jill doesn't complain at all. Jill is great. Jill is great. Canva lost. It can't be true. I'm sorry. I think it just surprised me that they had the love interest for him be someone that he's grown up with since he was like 13. I don't know. I don't know if that would mean that you grow up in the friend zone. I guess not. He broke it. One, okay, one side mission there. One, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven side missions. Eleven side missions. Should we plow through them? Let's plow through. Um, the plus sign was somewhere around here, wasn't it? Miss, can we read Miss Editor's story for oh, Downstairs. Self-determination is the Doris mission. Yes, I remember that actually because I was Googling which which missions were I was in and I read self-determination. Oh, Eleven for now. Ah, Sid. <laughs> Just the man I was hoping to see. Don't tell me. You need more bomb ash. What do you need? Oh, no. We still got plenty of that left. What is it then? I'm working on bringing another one of the Chief's designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermal amplification. What? And a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that, that, um... Yeah, don't bother. Let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. A heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only mithril engines get hotter. And you can't chuck ore in one of them and get metal out the other end. <laughs> Quack notes. Molly's Cut tarts this. are amazing. We won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. Okay. We need the good stuff. I will get it for you then, I'm guessing. And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Help Owain with the smelter. Why not? You'll be getting a bunch closer to the end. Yeah, I've heard that the just when you're about to finish the game, they just smack a load of side missions on you. Hello, Dimmy! I didn't understand a word of that. I think that's the point. Did JFAS, did you not catch that as well? Isn't he Clive? Why are they calling him Sid? So when Sid died, he almost like took on in his honor his name. So some people call him Sid, some people call him Clive. I understand that's very confusing. It also confused me too. Took on his name. Like it's like, like a title, yeah. Almost like a sire thing. I'd be happy to. Sure. If it's for the good of the hideaway, I'd be happy to. Oh, it is. So, what exactly is this good stuff you need me to find? A football. We've got a couple of examples here. Spherical echoes, we call them. Okay, not a football. Or fallen materials. Not a football. So this smelter is similar to the mithril engine in more ways than one. A pokeball. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? A melon. And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat from the inside to the outside. Sports ball! But these things... Anna is good at sports ball. They're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. Okay. We've collected as many as we can. And I know where we can get the rest. So you want me to visit some ruins? Destroy some echoes and bring back the spheres they're guarding. That's fine. That's it in a nutshell. Yeah. 
We're only three short, mind. Only and three we more. know exactly where. There's one up Amber Way. Amber Way. In that ruin that they call Lost Plume. And another in the Silent South over in Dalmechia. One in Last Advent one as well? is in the ruins of Advent. All right, then. Wish me luck. It'll do. I'll be keeping all my fingers and toes crossed. I find him weird. I just find him weird. Okay, we've got three bowls to find. Don't make it weird. With Canva in How the was she? Um, brilliant. Let's go to Doris. Oh, hang on. Self-determination. Oh, we've got to talk to... Yeah, Dor Doris is here. So she's... Doris is brooding somewhere. So we've got to go find her. <laughs> A bit creepy. If I was you, I'd only do the side quests that are from my main side characters. We did a poll, Zero. Everybody voted that I do all of them. So I may as well. I may as well. We could just plow through them. Is this it? No. Why are we... What? Cutscene? Where are you? Can I help you, Sid? I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? Oh gosh, I get my own cutscene. I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's Rest on a job. I was wor I'm working. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. I remember this now. The slave of Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the Beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's Rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Fuck me then? No, I just mean like, we did a poll. I said, shall I just do some of the side quests or shall I do all of them? And about 91% of chat said all of them. So I feel like I've got to be uh, a streamer of my word now. Crate with the noodles. I would love some noodles. I, I got sent, so Raj sent me a reel on Instagram the other day of uh, a, a noodle lasagna, like a ramen lasagna. And rather than pasta sheets, the layers are like noodles. And he was like, is this an insult to lasagna or would you try it? And I was like, to be honest with you, I would try that 100%. It looked good. It looked good. Cheesy, saucy, noodle. I think it looked good. I'm just saying. I don't know why it just reminded me of that. Okay, Doris, where are you, honey? There she is. She's over there. And also, that's the science one. Okay. We've also got two side missions here, so let's do them both. It sounds awesome. There, there's a. We should find the video, Raj, maybe, and show everybody because it looks so nice. It looks good. Right, where are you, Doris? Search for Doris at Martha's Rest. Well, we're at Martha's Rest. Doris should be somewhere nearby. Assuming she's still here. Doris, where are you? Just because the heavens have gone to wreck and ruin, it don't mean we have to. Now, let's get this story. Where am I? <sighs> Nearly done. If I was a Doris, where would I be? Doris! Quest destination nearby. That's different. Oh, so am I leaving the catchment area if I walk away from this? Oh, I am. Even if I go around this way? Okay, so it must be downstairs, down the, the lift. Thank you, Raj, for the link. There you go. The noodle lasagna. You can you can think what you think about it. <laughs> Great. Doris, where are you, honey? Maybe she's downstairs? No! Oh! No, it's got to be here, then. Is she down an alleyway? Doesn't still hurt, does it? Oh, there she is! Oh, a thousand Akashic jars. Found her. Just checking. There's nothing dangerous around. Don't know why. There I am. It's been a pleasure, Doris. Just like old times. I'll give your offer some thought, my lady. 
God, I'm really sad. How goes the investigation? Sid, what brings you to Martha's Rest? You. I heard you were out here on your own, tracking our slaver. I trust you're being careful. Of course. And it had to be me. The bearers from the Dragon's Airy confirmed a long-held suspicion of mine that the slaver we've been tracking is an old acquaintance. She's no fool. If we'd come in force, she would have spotted us straight away, and then vanished without a trace. That was her just now, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. So... Was it a fruitful reunion? I'd say so. She tried to recruit me. Seems her time in Rosaria is coming to an end. She's abducted bearers from across the region and is looking to smuggle them back into Sambrek. After her brush with those beastmen on the road to Northreach, she hired herself an Imperial escort. Which she wants me to join. She's dangerous, Sid. But I think I can stop her. Then I'm going with you. I'll take care of the escort. You can see the bearers to safety. Where are they? The Balm Arches, soon to break camp. You go on ahead. I'll follow once I've sent word back to the hideaway. Okay. I forgot how this started. Also, why? I'm wearing so much thick leather that I don't even look comfortable, really. There's leather binding my shoulders and my waist. Oh, thank you, Piotr. Hello, Synth. <laughs> I noticed Doris' voice is a bit different than your own. Were you given guidance or just give your own spin on it? I think in general, uh, if, if they want my, my accent, then it will just sound probably like me, just with a bit of emotion in it. So I think the reason it sounds different is that there's emotion in it. When I'm talking to you right now, there's no emotion in my voice. But if, I, if there's something that uh, the character is like struggling with or thinking about, then it will change the sound of the voice because you're feeling something. Um, so I think Doris ends up feeling a little slower or heavier because of what she's thinking. Same with Sophia, probably. Sophia is very similar to my voice too. But it will, if it sounds different, it would only be because it's some, some weight behind it or something, if that makes any sense. When we do a Charlie and do a, Cor a Doris conversation before it happens. Did Charlie do that? Oh, because she was remembering all the lines? I recorded this like two years ago, so I don't remember really what I've said. Toggle! Toggle, would you like a pat? Oh, Toggle. Mm, you're a cutie! Okay, journey to the Balm Arches. Before we do that, let's trigger the one mission that is around here, which is over there. I guess in the tavern. Hello, Bioshocked. I'm good, how are you? Actually, should we just see what she, she... Does she have anything else to say? Let me just ask her one more thing. Sometimes you can press a button and then she says something else. It doesn't still hurt, does it? Let's face it, Doris is just really here for the courtesans. She asked me to join her at the Bow Marches. It's a wonder she still trusts me after everything that happened. So she, so her previous slave owner is trying to recruit her years later. That's heavy. Have they ever asked you to do some lines in different languages? No, no. If they, I mean, it would be on my CV if I could speak any other languages, but I cannot. So they wouldn't hire me for something I couldn't do. If they want, if they want a bilingual actor, they will hire a bilingual actor. She sounds like, she's... <laughs> you know. Oh, look, another side mission for you, Martha. Ah, Clive, I was just about to send for you. I'd like you to take something to Sir Wade up in Eastpool. Uh huh. Seeds for planting. Thought it was about time they started growing their own food. Seeds. I'll keep providing them with whatever they need in the meantime, of course. But if East Pool's going to survive, it's got to be able to fend for itself. As have those poor bearers. Seeds. It's small wonder they ain't got the foggiest out to provide for themselves. Pet the tall. So it's up to us to teach them. And if you're wondering why you, well, the wagoneers taking supplies up that way have been coming back with more and more reports of Akashic around Sir Wade's okay. putting a brave face on it. But I think even he's starting to worry. Sure. All right. Thanks. There. That should be enough to keep him in Gizal Greens for a few years at least. Thank you. Gizal Greens. Oh, he's grinning. Not the most mouth-watering crop, I'll admit. I think Clive has gotten softer hardy, as the game's gone on. They grow on. fast and they fill a hole. 
Better that than something that'll wither away at first frost. And chocobos love them too. Chocobos love them? Which is no small thing. They ain't exactly succulent, but cook them right and they're just about bearable. I'll take your word for it. Bearable. Anyway, Sir Wade'll know what to do with them. I'll go up there and show him myself. I'm sure you will. Okay, thank you. I'm not gonna prioritize the quest yet. I am Groot. Oh, Groot is so cute. You can speak American? That is a very tough language to learn, but I do speak American, yes. Just about. <laughs> Just about. Okay. Journey to the Bow Marches. Self-determination. So if we pop here. Go figure out what's wrong with Doris. You speak pretty good American. The slave owner asks her former slave to work for her again. Exactly. And I think, I think what Doris wants to do, if I remember correctly from the lines, is set her up. Um, so like play along for a while and then, you know. <laughs> Put on your CV that you speak Middenborn. I could just make up an entire language. I speak, I speak, I speak in Twitch streamer. No, I'm not fighting you guys, no. Oh, I can't even call Ambrosia? Woo! What's down here? I've never been down here, have I? This is nice. Speaking of arches. Okay, loot. Got a gill bug. Are we anywhere near? Yes, we're here, we're here. Welcome back, cafe. CV, horse riding, fluent in English, French, Greek, Chinese. <laughs> There's always that ongoing joke about an actor's CV because you can, you can say anything on the CV that you can do, but it doesn't mean you can do it. Um, and I had a friend that casts things and he was looking for they, they were, it was a commercial and they needed twins to play uh, tennis but they needed twins and on, on a twins CV said like one of the things that they could do was tennis and they got hired based off of their CV and it was a complete nightmare because they just had I mean anyone can play tennis technically you could just hit a ball right but they had no skill in that at all and it ruined the commercial because they couldn't do what they said that they could do Oh. It's so important to be honest on your CV because your your reputation will just get ruined. Oh, Chocobo. Am I, am I in the right place? Oh, here we go. I'm going to have to fight them, aren't I? Okay, this is Doris's old master. Good. They haven't broken camp yet. We're ambushing them. Right? And did Doris come to know a slaver, I wonder? We've waited long enough. She's not coming. <laughs> Ready the bearers. We're leaving. Back to civilization, is it, Mom? With all haste. Lest any of you lackwits start talking like these feckless bumpkins. Feckless bumpkins. I presume your men are ready. We've suffered too many delays as it is. Any more feckless. and I'll be docking your pay. Feckless bumpkins. Uh, yes, Mom. Oh, but before you go, it appears we have company. Oh, God. Kill him. Fantasy boy, thank you so much. I'm glad you like the character. Welcome in. Nice You're to meet you. To try. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, let's use the ice. Let's use the ice. Oh, it's good. I like it. Well, what what's the other one? Okay, that is sick. Can we appreciate all of these bearers just sat watching this, please, from the sidelines? <laughs> Doing nothing. I'm going to lock onto you. I'm going to do this. Oh, ouch! 
Oh, you little. Break the shield. Aerial blast. We love to see it. How are you not dead? I like the slow motion. I love the slow motion cape billowing in the wind. Oh, hi Shermanator. Hi Team Boeing and Grumpier and Ed. Just finished FF16 last night and I was genuinely really sad it was all over. Also, I lost it when I heard your voice. I was like, I know her. Oh, Ed, it's so nice to play. I'm really intrigued as to how they're going to end it. I want to know. I'm really, really, really intrigued. Okay, here we go. Slave owner. So much for your escort. Exactly. <laughs> You'll forgive me for not avenging my men. I'm not the swordswoman I used to be. Really? But you look like such a warrior. I surrender. Do with me as you wish, Sid the Outlaw. Really? Sid. Oh, I can run. Ah, Doris. I take it you're not here to rescue me from our brooding renegade. <laughs> brooding. You know, I always wondered where you'd vanished to. But casting your lot with this criminal of all people. Better fighting for a cause than killing for coin. I'm sorry, Sid. I should have told you sooner. This woman... My former master once trained bearer children to be weapons in service of the highest bidder. She raised me like a daughter, and I did terrible things to earn her favor. It wasn't all terrible, surely. We had our fun, too. You were always so eager to learn and had such clever hands. All my other children took either to the blade or to the books. Always either or. But you proved yourself a master of both. That's why I kept you for my own. How about it, <laughs> my little dagger? Care to swear that blade to me again? Hell no. I never swore my blade to you, nor will I ever. I fight for a higher cause. To liberate the bearers of this world. Farewell, master. Thank you for making me the weapon I am. You always were a righteous child. <laughs> Perhaps that's the reason I loved you so. Oofed. Oofed. What do you want to do with her? I am not the killer she wanted me to be. Not anymore. And she no longer has friends in high places. The dame does, though. Her connections at the Imperial Court will see that justice is done. All right. Prison. You're certain. I am. Prison. And thank you for everything. Now, I better let these bearers know that they're safe. I should head back to the hideaway and put Cole's mind at ease. Good. We are not... We are not anybody's chess piece anymore. 70 hours? I mean, yeah, I mean, I think I'm 45 hours into this. It's a big game. Oh, sometime later, we've fast travelled without choice, apparently. Welcome back, Sid. Doris's message just arrived. I hear you saved more bearers from being smuggled across the border. Well, you know. With any luck, they'll be joining us in the hideaway shortly. Oh, and your letter. You don't need to worry about Doris anymore. I'd been hoping as much. She mentioned one or two things in her report. So the slaver we'd been chasing all these months was her former master. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wish I'd known. The drama just... She's been arrested, by the way. Bringing the drama. Over in Sambrek. Went quietly, or so we're told. And she won't be getting off lightly. The Empire may have no love for bearers, but it's none too fond of black market traders either. Can't have been easy for Doris. I'm sure it wasn't. But don't worry. She'll be alright. I'll be alright, guys. So. Suppose you should know, eh? 
You had quite the past yourself before you came here. Oh, Doris so is damn fine. Anyway, thanks again, Sid. The curse breakers would be lost without Doris. And you, of course. Aww. Keep up the good work, Cole. Nice one, Cole. Ooh. Quest complete. What did helping Doris give us? No money at all. Okay, wow. Doris didn't even pay us for that. Doris didn't even pay us for that. We got a hundred crafting thingies, a sharp fang, and a meteorite. Come on, Doris. A bit scroungy. A bit scroungy, do you not think? <laughs> I didn't do mocap, no. There, there was some facial stuff. Um, there was some, like, facial capture at some point during London when I was doing the voice. But predominantly it was just voice, yeah. Proper, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. It must feel awesome to see this end result connecting this recording to the memory. Yeah, like, it it's so sporadic when you work on a game. They are writing it. Like, you record lines for, for a game as they're writing it. So they'll write a new section. They'll call you in. Then it could be four months, five months, eight months. And they call you back again when they've written the next bit. And you, it's so easy to forget um, so much of what you've done. So it's so nice when you get to play it and you go, oh, okay, that's where that fits in. Or that's where that piece happens. Crafting thingies. You can only blame yourself. I know, I do blame myself. Hi, Paul. Did you get the script for Doris's whole past? No, not at all. No, not at all. You know what? I could probably, I could probably find the audition and read you what it says. Now that it's out. Project. Ah. Gosh, it was such a long time ago. It's such a long time ago. Okay. Here are the details for your session tomorrow. Blah, 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 blah. It's so funny. I just found the email. Hi, Anna. Lovely to chat. As discussed, we have received an offer for you for this video game for the role of Doris forward slash Daisy. Did not know what it was at the time. Did not know anything about it. Nothing at all. Ooh. I don't think there was any character breakdown. Honestly, I don't think it was... Uh, mentioned at all like normally you have like a little PDF and they attach the PDF and they tell you about her as a person I didn't have a, a lot I didn't have a lot for her at all no nothing I'm just clicking on all the PDFs nothing at all wow yeah nothing so <laughs> forgot to attach it I, I just do the audition scene, Covered in nicks go in, and, lumps, the and then they tell you the backstory as you go, most of the time. Most of the time. They'll be like, okay, so basically she's a bit like this, and this happened, and you go, oh, okay. But that happens, like, almost in the room. So that I think they, if they can avoid not emailing information about the game, then they will. And they can just tell you in person. It's a little bit easier. Okay, we're avoiding, we're avoiding the main mission for a second. Back for this one. Ooh, Dwayne Johnson. Wait, why are we talking about? <laughs> why is Dwayne Johnson coming up? Daisy? I don't know. Would you have preferred Daisy as the name? She's quite. She's quite. She's just so serious. I don't know if Daisy would have quite worked for her as a character. But then Doris reminds me of an old woman. So what can you do? Right, chocobo time. Ambrosia, my love. Off we go. No, not dealing with the drama. Am I heading the right way? Yeah. I can fly! Dad. Jake! Hello, Jake! The what did you say, Jake? It'll do, girl. I want Jill and Clive to be my parents. Is that what you said? Whoa, we've got zombies now! <laughs> Oh, 
Gosh, we are full on in the flood. We are in the flooding. Let's get out of here. Not too far away, not too far away. Heading the right way, up, up, up. You like Doris over Daisy? Do you really? Doris sounds unique. Yeah, she just feels too serious for Doris. Feels like very, Daisy feels like quite a sweet name. Oh! Oh my god, not the chocobo. We got knocked down. The Akashic chocobo is full on. No, 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 get off. Sorry, Chocobo. I'm sorry. Leveled up. Doris sounds like a grandma name, but it's still nice. I do remember on the phone when I said, have they decided which name they're going to give her? And she said, my agent said Doris. I was like, what? Are you, are you sure? Out of the two, they really wanted to go with that one? They were like, mm-hmm. I was like, okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay. Uh, straight up and then left. Oh, those are the bombs. I can't get on the Chocobo and the Akashic stuff. Hey, Ralphin. Welcome in. Thank you. Boris and Doris. Boston. What movie is that from? Okay, I'm just going to ignore the bombs. We're running past the bombs. Bombs don't exist. Don't need them. Don't need them. No, 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 no. There we go. We run from our problems. We run from our problems. Oh. Do I have to kill these as well? Oh, I went the wrong way. If I go this way, can I ignore? Yes. Perfect. So we've got to kill that thing, I think. Poor zombie Chocobo. I know that Chocobo did not choose to be zombified. Did Daisy have a different personality than Doris then? No, it's just a name thing. Although I know I mentioned this before, my, the, Doris was rewritten uh, entirely. I recorded a lot of lines for her uh, back in 2019, I think, for her. And then they completely rewrote her character and changed her a lot. She wasn't always that serious. Um, so maybe, maybe that was a link to it as well. Right. Walking bus. First. Relax. 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 Woo. What in the Star Wars is happening? Tornado, have this. Have a mastered tornado. See how that makes you feel. It's not really doing anything, is it? <laughs> oh no! Staggered. Keep calm and tornado on. Okay, I'm attacking. Toggle. Oh, 26,000 damage. That's not good. That's good. Dodge. Run away! Run away! Mistake. My fault. My fault. My fault. Ouch. That's better. Ouch. That got me. Well, you got me there. Now to find this spherical echo. Okay, got this. I think it's on the floor here. Collect it. Got it. This is it. All good. Right then. Just two more to find. Two left. 
Um, actually, hang on. Search Advent. Okay, they're actually they're not they're nowhere near here. Oh, sorry. This and then this. Okay, we're done in this area. So we can go speak with Wade there, or oh my gosh, there's so much. Let's work our way clockwise. So let's do that. Let's speak to Wade and then go round. Hello, Ash. The humans didn't ask to be zombified either. No, you're right. But there's something about an animal. Just making an animal into a death machine. Here for the numbers. Hi, Frosty. <laughs> Frosty, how have you been? Did you have a good day yesterday? Tickle him. I heard the Guardian saying we're supposed to grow our own food. Charlie. The vittles Martha sends us are more than enough for me. Definitely Charlie. That was Charlie. Ten spools of steel silk. Right, Wade. Apparently we're doing something to do with seeds. Ah. Lord Rossfield. That is my name. What brings you to Eastpool? Loads of things. A delivery from Martha. Have some seeds. Enjoy. Hope this fares you well. These are Gizal green seeds. Martha's keen to cut the apron strings then, is she? Spicy chocobo wing? I jest, of course. I did kill him, Mario. You see... Dead. I had thought we might be able to revive the old wheat fields, but they'd long since gone to seed. Martha was hoping you might be able to show the bearers how to plant and tend these. Gardening lesson. So that they'll be able to fend for themselves. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad idea. These bearers had only recently escaped their bonds before we brought them here. Flashback. They know little of freedom, of providing for themselves and their loved ones. Unless we teach them how to live like free men, I fear that all we have achieved in bringing them here is to exchange one master for another. Not that myself and the Guardians have been the best example to them so far. Subsisting almost entirely on Martha's charity as we do, it's about time we all started to provide for ourselves. Bearers and Guardians alike. Dramatic music ensues. We've been a little too busy of late to focus on much besides bolstering our defenses. Pots, pots, do There have been pots? alarming reports of... The Horde! It's closing in. They're coming, so wait, all of them. Damn it all. I thought we'd have more time. No, let's kill Gather some the men in the square. Send to the rest for reinforcements. Yes, Sir Wade. Ready? The horde. Zombies. A Kashek. A oh. veritable legion of them. They've been seen prowling around the northern reaches for a while now. Hey Snake, Ross, we thank you for the have follow. The numbers to hold back a swarm that size. I had hoped to was a the chill week off from so work, suspending it catching up with everything I don't usually get to do. Village, but now you're out of time. Playing catch up can be so Precisely. satisfying. If reinforcements from the rest like getting to finish off all the things that you need to do on your to-do list. We just scrape through, but I fear that's rather an enormous if. What if you could call on reinforcements from Eastpool? Oh, call in reinforcements like we brought them here so they might live. We need backup. Die fighting for their lives. So wait. You said you lack men to defend the village. Are the bearers not men? Do they not wish to see Eastpool saved? Though they may not be trained soldiers like your guardians, what help they are able to offer could still prove the difference between victory and defeat. Yeah, but what if they die? Is he just going to use bearers as an army when they're not trained? You're right, my lord. I will appeal to them. Do they want to or do they not want to? My friends, I humbly beg your aid. Most of you have never held a sword in your life, we guardians but would you like to risk your many. entire existence? But I swear we can defeat them with you at our side. Silence. Absolute silence. You would send us to the slaughter. All oh, this is not going well. To serve as bait for those fiends so that you and your men... That was Clive's idea. Spared. That was Clive's idea, not my idea. And to think we trusted you. Oh, shit. Say what you will. A home is not worth dying for. Nice one, Clive. Nice one. But it is worth fighting for. Oh, speech from Martha. Sir Wade fights to give you lot a chance. Just like I do. Just like Sid does. We all wanted to give you a home where you could be free. And you got one. Didn't you? The rousing this speech from Martha. East Pool. This is your village. Your home. And if 
you don't fight to protect what's yours, you'll lose it. This is strange. I didn't think that she would advocate for them fighting. No, I'm right. This world wants to take everything from Doesn't you. feel like a Martha move. Everything. Your homes, your freedom, your very lives. So then, are you going to stand by and let that happen to you? Are you going to accept fate like good little Bran did and die hey, Bob. having never stood up for yourself? We've got Jill back and we had sex with Jill and we kissed her. Or will you fight like free men and women? And we took her ice power as well, Bob. It's a whole thing. There was like a 30 minute cutscene. Martha and her frying pan, let's go! Get the skillet! Oh, she's saying yes. What are you doing? She's right. a Give me a sword. Go on, Charlie. That's Charlie as well. I never dreamt I'd have a home of my own. And now that I have, I don't want to lose it. I will protect what's mine or die trying. We all will. Free men and women fighting together. Go on, Charlie. Uh, yeah. 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 Sex first, kiss second. It's a good question, Blast. Check the VOD. It's, it's open to interpretation. Okay, we've got an army, I guess. Thank you, Martha. Don't mention it. Just promise me one thing. That you'll show them how freeborn fight. Amen. For East Pool. Gladly. Perfect. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Bastards. Yeah, the beginning of stream was intense. It was very intense. Well, if it was numbers you were lacking, you certainly won't be now. Yep, Martha, that was down Thanks to you. To Thank you. you. Yep. Me? Oh, I just love the sound of my own voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wade's back. So what's the plan of action? Fighting. We'll divide our forces into several small detachments, each made up of guardians, bearers, and guards from the rest. Upon engaging with the Akashic, each detachment will keep the creatures occupied as best they can. Distractions. Steadily retreating all the while. Lovely, okay. You're going to lure them into the village. I am. We will have neither the time nor the resources to treat the wounded, so injuries must be avoided at all costs. By coordinating our withdrawal through the use of messengers drawn from among the bearers, we will aim to have the swarm converge at a point of our Converge choosing. the swarm. With luck. That Lovely. point will be the village square, and for you and I to finish them off. All right. A sound plan. I'd say you have both an abundance to wait, but you'll be needed. Please, leave the last of the fighting to me. Ha! And let you have all the glory. Yes. Sir, so wait! They're here. Let's go. Then you know what you must do. We work together. Everyone playing their part. Each shielding the other that no man might fall. For Azaria. For Azaria. For Azaria. Are you ready? We've no time to argue, my lord. For Blackpool. I'll for Liverpool. Ask, and I will do as you ask. Let's go. Race, thank you for the follow. How are you? Hi, Drat. Suppose we'd better do our bit too, then, eh? Fighting. Right, you are, Martha. Martha's gonna fight too. My God. Can she not provide us with pub snacks, pork scratchings? I don't like a pork scratching personally, but anyone else that feels like it. Dun, 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 dun. Before the storm. Combat music. Hello, little goblins. So nice of you to show up at this exact moment. And here it comes. I will not let this village fall. <laughs> Akashic Thistle. Come here, you no <laughs> You zombified thistle. Nothing more dangerous than a zombified thistle, guys. Okay, I think it might be time for the tornado. In a second. New enemies approach. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Yeah. 
Can I jump and get near it that way? No, I can't. This, this brings him down to me that way. Okay, slap him. Tornado! In the middle! Okay. They start faffing around. I'll get the scorpion. Kashik Claw. Okay, they're dead. They're all... <laughs> They're all caught up in there. Gonna do another couple charge shots. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Actually, wolves? I see behavior. Then a bit of this. Okay, that got rid of that got rid of two of them. Dead, dead, dead. Crab sticks are better. Used to have them in the pub. I love crab sticks. I've never seen a crab stick in a pub. Why would there be a, a crab stick in a pub? Do you mean like the little seafood sticks, the the red and white things that you put in salads? Is that what, is that what you mean? Isn't that a flower? It said a kashik thistle. That's what it said. <laughs> Zombie thistle. <laughs> okay, is that done? Finished? Looks like that's the last of them. Is it though, Clive? It's More never the Rossfield. end. Change of plan. Oh, here we go. Boss fight. What is it? Mini boss. Owl from the rest. An Akashic curl's been sighted on Rhiannon's ride and is headed in their direction. How did I know? Well, the better half of her guard is here. How did so I know? Wait. How many Akashic remain in East There's no pool? crabbing crab sticks. I know. It's weird, say. isn't it? My men are still facing some resistance. I do but actually I think know that. The worst is behind us. I could order a detachment or two to... No. Let them finish the job. Let them finish it. I'll do it. You stay here too, Sir Wait. Your men. I'll go after the curl. Okay. Join me only when East Pool is won. If you're sure, my lord. May the founder protect you. See you in a bit. I'm gonna go kill an Akashic lion. Where is the lion? Can I fast travel? Nope. It's actually quicker to run. Mini boss. Off we go. Hello, AJ. Casi uh, as in like, Next um, one's mine. Casino Caradonna? I've not. Is it a new music video? Hello, Taser, welcome. I've no idea why, but I used to have them in the pub. Some people used to sell seafood in there. Do you live uh, kind of near the sea? Is that why? Do UK pubs not sometimes serve food? Oh yeah, but like a, a random crab stick in a pub feels weird. <laughs> Pork scratching is like a pub snack on the bar, like behind the bar, like a bag of crisps. But a seafood stick feels like a weird thing to sell behind the bar. Oh no. So because I triggered combat, the chocobo won't come with me? Oh, damn it, I'm not dealing with that. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Hello everybody, goodbye. I'm not dealing with you today. Not today, Satan. 80 yards away. Mini boss time. A solitary crab stick on the bar. So Jess, did you just go to the bar and go, could I have a crab stick? And then they just sell you one for like 50p. I live slap bang in the middle of the UK. Why are they selling crab sticks at the bar? I need to know. Whoa! There it is. Okie dokie. Hello. Okay, I'm taking no damage at all. No damage. Hardly any damage. Help! I wasted two abilities there. Great. Ouch. Ouch again. I was trying to do my ability! Staggered. 
Okay, what I'm gonna do is limit break now. And then take as much damage as I can whilst the limit break is, is on. Along with a punch, why not? And along with this too. He's almost dead. Oh, ouch. Ouch, he got me again. Dead? Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Ouchie, ouchie. We're gonna do a special finish. Done. I think you get extra points for finishing a fight on an ability. So I've been trying to do that. You get ability finish. I see it pop up saying ability finish. So I'm hoping that that gives me m more points or something. Blue Panda, thank you for the follow. All right. Hey, Blade. Hi, Scotty. Back Scotty. Yeah, no, I would not eat from the bowls of nuts at pubs. Don't make it weird. Do not make it weird. I'm just saying the bowls of peanuts. If there's an open bowl of something that people are putting their hands in at a bar, no. 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 Points mean prizes. There we go. Limit break dance. Everyone happy? Lord Rossfield. The curl, is it? Dead, yes. It's dead. Thank the founder for that. We were able to eradicate the rest of the horde. I have guardians posted around the village to keep watch for further attacks, but I hesitate to say it, but I think it might be over. Well. I think it might. Good. We did it. There we go. <laughs> we saved Eastpool. That big exhale. Anything else? Everyone happy? Thank you, my friends. None of you died. That's good. Thank you. No, Sir Wade. It's us who should be thanking you. Bit of London. You brought us together. Showed us what it means to fight for what you hold dear. We never had nothing to call our own before. We didn't know what it meant to protect it. But now we do. We really do. Forgive us, Sir Wade. But there's no doubt in my mind anymore. We're free men now. So we have to start acting like it. We have to fight to protect what's ours. His hair looks to so fluffy. Eastpool. And we shall. This is our home. And if anyone or anything tries to take it away... The East Polians. They'll have us to answer to. Come on, then. Thank the founder. Let's get to work. Lovely. This Oh, I accidentally skipped Charlie's line. I'm trying to just keep the dialogue keep going, otherwise these side, these side quests are going to take like 20 minutes each. They're not slaves anymore. They're free. No. They're Rosarians. Wow. Your father took pity on the bearer's plight. And I believe if he were still with us today... We are literally... This is what he would have wanted. Liberating the I entire thing. I believe you thing. might be right. I shall remain here, my lord. And do what I can to help rebuild the village. Happy anniversary. After all, this is my home now, too. And I could hardly call myself an East Poolian if I didn't pull my weight. Oh, is it a part anniversary? I think you'll find it's East Pudlian, Sir Wade. I didn't even realise. <laughs> but you should be proud all the same. I'll have to pull my weight, too. Can't have the rest getting outclassed. Speaking of which, I ought to be getting back. Can we continue to count on your support, Martha? Of course. And I'll be counting on yours, too. Us Rosarians have got to stick together, haven't we? Indeed we have. Your resub has not and come Clive, up in my chat at all. Come by the Golden Stables when you get the chance. At all? I ain't paid you for delivering them seeds yet. All Come right. On. I will. Everyone's good? Ooh. Everyone happy? Lord Rossfield, do you remember our very first mission together? So much Clearing reminiscing. From the Thank you for 24 marshes. months. 27 months, sorry, not 24, 27. How could I forget? Carmen, Founder's Badge. I don't know why it didn't pop up for some reason. I didn't see it on There's mine. One side that it's I in my activity feed, but it's not in my chat. You Thank you, Carmen. Facing off against that giant mauble. East Poodle. Not a trace of fear on your thank face. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Since that day, there have been more than a few times when How I have felt you been? like giving up. When the odds the seemed so mine, stacked Carmen. in the enemy's favor, I thought I may as well just lay down my sword and surrender. 
But every time I would think back to the look in your eyes that day and remember what it means. I love this friendship. To be a shield. Know that whatever trials Eastpool may face, I shall never lose courage. Your emoji to, uh, demi wave you. has been approved. So wait. You have always been a true shield. So technically, it should be using, but you can use it now. I think. I know that Eastpool. Ah, oh, it's and cute. Indeed, all of Rosaria will be safe in your hands. Thank you, my lord. I know the rest of the world will be safe in yours. <laughs> I'll do my best. This is like uh, they they remind me of like brother brothers from another mother. There's something um, like a family about them, which is really nice. We have a wave emoji now. Should I get rid of the one that's not waving or just have both? We have hi and then wave. Or is wave basically the same as hi? Maybe we don't need them both. Discuss. It's so cute. I know Raj made it. Raj made it. I don't know how you did that. You mean bros, bro. Like a, yes, he's a brother from another mother. The hero returns. Hi and it's hello. lucky you came by when you did, eh? I know, Martha. Not only did my seeds get delivered, but you went and saved Eastpool and all. I just did what I could. And it's only right that you get rewarded for it. Take it before I change my mind. What is it? Thank you, Martha. So, Eastpool's finally back on its feet again, and a home to free bearers. Well, it was your idea. I know that, but I never stopped to think what it would mean. Bearers in charge of themselves. It's true. Thinking for themselves. They've had no autonomy, themselves. so... Not your hideaway, but not even hidden away. We've never had a chance no, to see what it would look like for bearers to have nowadays. autonomy. You know... It's nice. Bearers living free like that. Reminds me of when I first met Sid. Sid. Loath as I am to recall that particular day. I take it you didn't always see eye to eye. What the happened? blinks, yeah, at least they're blinking. They're not, the NPCs are not just staring at you well, like that. If you really want to know, I started doing what I do long before I met Sid. In fact, that's how I met him. Or at least how he came to meet me. Sorry? Story time. He showed up at the stables one day, asking questions about who'd been buying up bearers. Oh, the... okay. The founder knows what he thought I was doing with them. <laughs> Running a hunt, poking around in their innards. In the hideaway. Something awful, anyway. Hello, madness. He, I thought he was a new constable. Thought the game was up. We never hear but much about mothers from another brother. Shame. <laughs> what each other was about. We've got brothers from another mother. And Where are the mothers I from another it, brother? The cheeky arse was rattling on at me about how I was doing That's it all an excellent wrong. question. After all my hard work. Pfft, told me I was giving them relief, but not freedom. That my bearers were still dying as slaves. Chocobo. Right under my skin it did. Told him if he didn't like it, he could bugger off and report me to the garrison. And did he? And do you know what he did? He smiled, and then he laughed. Sounds like a Sid thing to do. And then I did the same. <laughs> we made a pact that day, that whenever one of us was in need, the other would always be there for him. And you were. Well, we both wanted the same thing, to make life better for bearers, just like your dad. He certainly didn't lack for ambition, that one. Indeed, but the loftier one's ambitions... The harder they are to achieve. Brother from another which sister. Which is why those of us who follow in their footsteps need to finish what people like Sid and my father started. Suppose you're right, aye. And if we don't manage it, there's always them who come after us. Good thing we've got a few half-decent sorts waiting in the wings, eh? Agreed, Martha. It's almost enough to give you a little bit of hope. Hmm. Just a little. Did, anyway, did Sid smoke? Mattering. Did Sid smoke? Better get back to work. Because that would be a perfect emote for him. Let's see everyone some dinner, shall we? Dinner. The least the folks who saved Eastpool deserve is a hot meal. Lasagna. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Let's go. Snacks. Ooh. Hello, Spartans. Welcome in. Rekindling the flame versus two number. Okay, uh, volume two. We're done. Martha's rest signboard. She's given us the plaque on the front of her pub. Does she not need it for her pub? Why is she giving that to me? Does she have a spare one? I'll take it. I'm happy. Thank you very much. 
Um, okay. Martha's rest is done. Oh, I kind of want to stagger it out. Is there anything... Okay, is there a side mission that's ready to be closed? Rendezvous with August. Visit the infirmary. Search for... Okay, I'm going to search for the... I'm going to do the spherical echoes. Then I'm going to do a main mission. I want to keep the main missions going. So that we're not just getting... I feel like the side missions end up lulling so quickly. I want to keep up the momentum. So I'm going to do the two spherical echoes. Then I'm going to back to back, back to the main mission again. Can I ask a question for the people that have completed this game? Does it give you a point of no return? So like, does it tell you... Do your side quests before this because you're going to lose a chance to? Does it give you an opportunity to like make a decision? It'll be pretty obvious. It doesn't tell you, but it's pretty clear. Okay. Okay. Okay, search for the spherical echoes. Even weirder science. Let's do that. Gonna go kick some ass. Hello, Max. Max, we've got the power of ice. Is that, is that the thing that you've missed? Hello, Iggy. Oh my god, Iggy. It's good to see you. I met Iggy at TwitchCon. And they are so nice. Okay, Chocobo. Off we go. Actually, journal. Let's just unequip the one that's not the one I want to do right now because it's not going to help. Lovely. Good girl. And then we run off down here. Run like the wind. Oh, Max, I thought you meant the game. Raw science. I never know Doris was Anna's voice actor. <laughs> I've already fought the Akashic up here. Why is it reusing this location? We've already done it. Can I attack? Can I attack them with this? Doesn't really work, does it? Whee! Okay, I'm getting off. I'm getting off. Get off! Get off the chocobo! Tornado! Okay, what that happens? Ow! Oh, I must not have seen it. Oh! Yes! Someone's still alive, are they? Get off me. Get off. It's over. Okay, pick it up. Two down. One to go. Correct. Two down, one to go. Oh my god, these are all the side missions in the Damakian Republic that I've not done. Brilliant. And the Blacksmith's Blues is here, but I still want to just... I wanna, I'm going to wait. And then the other one, the other spherical echo is uh, up here, right? Yes, it is. Gymnastics. Chocobo gymnastics. Hello, can I help you? Have you got an appointment? I don't think you've got an appointment. <laughs> Do you have an appointment? No, that's the face of someone that did not book. You didn't book, did you? If you don't book, then you can't spend time with me. You have to call my receptionist. It's 0800 6969 okay? Then when you've got an appointment, maybe we can talk, okay? Why? It is this way. Got the loot. <laughs> she doesn't need an appointment, she owns the stream. <laughs> the stream belongs to her. I gave Bun a permanent appointment. <laughs> 
The mods must be contacted for any communication with me. Even my friends. Maggie has to contact the mods for an appointment. Everybody. It all goes through the mods. <laughs> I am going the right way, yeah. Oh my gosh, there's bombs in the forest. That is a fire hazard. If those things go near the trees. Is this the right way? No, wrong way. Wrong way, wrong way. Up this way, and then actually it's to the right, I think. Oh, here we go. No. 100 yards. Such impudence, Jacob. I know. This might take a while. Why would rest. it take a while? <laughs> Woken node. Get off! Oh, Anna, you literally... Uh, tornado. And then I'm gonna limit break. Does limit break also break their shields? I hope it does. One is Anna's manager. I imagine. Yeah, Bun is my agent, actually. Oh, I wasted that. Um. Okay, lovely. Pick up the ball. Picked it up. That's all of them. Uh, quickly back to the hideaway to complete that. See, look at us. We're moving through them quite quick. The dreamer must have awoken. Do you have an appointment? What, do I have an appointment to spend time with myself? Liz, you gifted a sub to Mad eight minutes ago and I missed it because I'm a terrible streamer. Thank you so much, Liz, for the gifted sub. And CAM also gifted a sub to Alexa. Sorry if I just triggered everybody's Alexa. Nothing. Nothing, Alexa. I'm fine. Nothing. Did that. Did that. Sorry. Um, thank you so much. Are you, are you still here? Thank you for the Covered gifted. In nicks and lumps, I missed it. It's a wonder they can still you should always make time for yourself. Um, right, here we go. Almost there. Do, do, do. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Cinderill. Imagine if that's how it worked. Hi, Urban Spaceman. Great. Thank you so much for the five. Great. You are so lovely. Thank you so much. Peach, thank you for five. What are you doing? What are you doing? Thank you, Peach. Thank you, Crate. Alexa, self-destruct triggered. Three, two, one. My Alexa just launched a nuclear strike. My bad. My bad. Thank you for the gifted. Thank you so much, both of you, for the gifted subs. Thank you so much. How you doing, Vizix? Hello, weirdo. I mean, expecting you back so soon. I just think you're a little weird. So, is it good news or bad? Uh, good, I got them for you. Happy? Good, thankfully. Yeah. He's very, he is creepy. Oh, brilliant. Thanks a blimmin' million. All right. I'll fit into the smelter right away. All right, love. Done? Oh, oh yeah, this is one of the special side quests that gives us something permanent. Sometime later, vague. May I present to you the smelter. The Telemon Furnace! In bad is she? Sid's theme. She's a beauty. You saved my beacon again, Sid. And I ain't about to let your good deed go unrewarded. What do I get? It's it's fine, really. My bag's uh Flexible enough already. <laughs> Don't say that. I'm sure I can make a That's few That's so funny. To, yeah. My favorite line. You could just buy me a bigger. How about that clasp? Looks a bit stiff. Reckon you could loosen it up and make some more room. And I reckon I know how. With a new alloy we've been working on. 
The Telemon furnace was just what we needed to perfect it. Okay. It's a metal, see? Yeah. So it's lovely and strong, but it's also, well, stretchy, if you can believe it. Stretchy metal. <laughs> what is he talking about? Well, if you insist. That is the spirit. You will love it. I promise. All right, love. What's he doing? What? Peach, what are you doing? Thank you for another five gifted subs. Thank you so much. You're my favorite peach that I've ever met. And I've met so many peaches. Thank so, you so much. What do you reckon? Oh, thank you so much, Peach. <laughs> it's actually quite ingenious. What's he made me? Thank you, a wine. What is it? Shh. Don't mention it. You earned it. And I wanted to get some practice in using that metal anyway. Can't think of any right now, but that's our job, isn't it? Maybe even out there, too. One day, the whole world's gonna know about the inventions you've helped us put together. They'll hardly believe their eyes, I'm sure. Anyway. Metallic spandex. Yeah, what has he done, Striker? What's he giving me? 